Clay Buckholz up against Xingming Wong. Wong, career ERA of 6.17 at Fenway Park. Bottom one, that's just your garden variety Wong sinker. 95 mile an hour and burring like a rabid badger. Ortiz and Manny. Bottom four, David Ortiz, normally good, hitting 077 this year. He hits into the double play. Wong locked in as a no-hitter. Bottom of the fifth, J.D. Drew, deep to right. Bobby Abreu back, 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 and it is gone. Home run for Drew, but upon further review, it appeared Abreu's too close to the wall. Only really needed to jump about 18 inches to catch this, but he gets too close to the wall, bumps into it as he jumps, and it just tips off the end of his glove. 1-1 game, top of the seventh. Buckholz pitched very well for the Red Sox. Here comes Mike Timlin, and there goes Jason Giambi. It's gone, 2-1 Yankees. Bottom seven, now 3-1. What Keith Ralph was to the Yardbirds, Ching Ming Wong was to the Yankees on Friday night. Train kept a rolling throughout the game. Bottom nine, he goes the distance. Yankees win four to one. By the way, after the three game series in Boston, Yankees go to where? Western Conference NBA basketball to Western baseball. Two very good NL teams, NLCS rematch, Rockies, D-backs. D-backs have won six straight, best record in baseball in the early going. Eric Burns, Smithers, takes Jeff Francis deep to run Homer. Burns, second of the year. D-backs up 3-1 behind Brandon Webb. <laughs> Justin Upton misses badly on that Jeff Francis pitch. Down he goes. Now, the very next pitch, uh, the cleat stayed in the dirt. <laughs> oh, man. To hit a baseball like that one time in my life would have made it a better life in the end. <laughs> That's his fourth. D-backs up 5-2. Brandon Webb, oh, that nasty sinker. So we had Wong in the American League, Webb in the National League, the two best sinker ballers in the game, and the D-backs win 8-2, and Webb's perfect so far. He's in the Indians, reigning AL Cy Young Award winner CeCe Sabathia, just 2-6 and six with a 6.04 ERA in his career against the A's. Top two with a runner on second, Jack Cuss, doubling down the left field line. That'll score Bobby Crosby. Oakland up 2 to nothing. And in continues, oh. runners on the corners, Chris... Denorfia lines one right back up the middle, almost hits Sabathia. Check it out. Sabathia would be okay. Next batter, Mark Ellis. Doubles off the wall. Rob Bowen scores. And Oakland is up four to nothing. But waits. The hits keep coming. Derek Barton blue single into center. Denorfia scores. A's up five to nothing. Sabathia three and a third. 12 hits, nine earned, four K's. Bottom eight. They're loaded for Ryan Garko. High off the wall and left. Two runners score. Indians down nine to six. Inning would continue after a 59-minute rain delay with a runner on third. Houston Street gets David DeLucci to fly up to center. Inning over. Oakland hangs on and gets the victory. 9-7 is the final. So Sabathia's disastrous outing Friday pushes his ERA above 11. He's now 0-2 and, and three starts this year. This after starting last season 3-0 with a 2.14 ERA. That on the way to winning his first career Cy Young. Field news to injury news on it. Tigers, White Sox, Dontre Willis with issues. Rainy night in Chicago. Bottom one, one aboard on the pitch. Willis steps on the wet mound, bends his knee awkwardly, slow to get up. Training staff comes out to check him out. And he decides to stay in the game. And he continues with two on, both walks, mind you. Willis is pitched to Jim Tomey. Wild, Ivan Rodriguez can't handle it. Both runners advance. Training staff out again. 14 pitches, four for strikes. And Willis leaves the game with a hyperextended knee. Bottom five, Tomey. It's rung up by Jason Grilly, doesn't like the call, and James Hoy ends up tossing Tomey for arguing balls and strikes. Ozzie again, a little calmer, and it continues. Tigers bullpen pitch nine innings, giving up only one run. Tigers win 5-2. to two. It's the Angels and the Mariners. Jared Weaver does not like Raul Ibanez. Bottom one was scoreless with two outs, Ibanez. That is good wood. His third home run of the season, and the Mariners are up one to nothing in the first of a three-game set. Bottom four were tied at a run apiece, and it's that Ibanez fella stepping in. Now 12 for 21 with four homers career against Weaver. His ninth career multi-homer game. And the Rams are up two to one. Bottom seven. It's a 5-4 lead with a runner on third, Ibanez. This time off Darren Oliver. Ground rule double. Ibanez. 
three for three, couple homers, and that double drove in three. Mariners win eight to five. Felix Hernandez win number one on the season. Cubs Phillies last two Aprils, Carlos Zambrano's had an ERA over five. This year better, off to a strong start. Just one walk in his first two starts. Control was good again on Friday night against the Phillies. Bottom five, tied at two, one on, two outs. Greg Dobbs deep to left center, oh boy. Fukudome does not hold that fly ball long enough. Fills up 3-2. Alfonso Soriano, top of the six, same score. Bad location for Brett Myers, who pitched a good solid game. Quality start. Second homer of the season for Soriano. Tied at three. Bottom of the same inning. Fills. That's a good piece of inning by Pat Burrell. Pretty good breaking ball by Zambrano. Burrell the other way. Howard scores. Zambrano, good control again. Only one walk, but five earned. And the Fills win. Giants have won three in a row, home to the Cardinals. Albert Pujols, top of the third now, one on, two out. Barry Zito, pitching pretty well. Pujols, double. Skip Schumacher scores, Cardinals up one nothing. Top of the fifth, Giants take a 2-1 lead, one on, one out. Schumacher's ground ball, Ray Durham. Um, runners save first and second, next batter would fly out, which would have ended the inning. Instead, they extend the inning, and oh boy, we don't want to extend the inning uh, and with two guys on and Albert Pujols up. Third home run of the year, and the Cardinals go on to win uh, three home runs in the first eight games, the lowest total in the big leagues. Now they got Nelson Figueroa going for his first major league win since August of 2003, family on hand. Let's check them out. Spotting the fastball, breaking ball working well, getting Billy Hall. Again, there's that good sinking fastball. Why hasn't this guy had a job? Six innings, two hits, two runs, six strikeouts for Figueroa. 27, looking good. Now up to the Met offense. Again, not hitting home runs, but scoring five and a half runs a game. Here, Manny Parra gets Jose Reyes to ground into a 5-4-3 double play. Reyes leaves the game with a tight left hamstring. Apparently nothing too big for now. Fog rolls into Shea. Top Six, Mets up by one. Ryan Braun, whoa, Carlos Beltran, interesting route to that one. He does make the catch. That's it for Figueroa. Mets up 3-2. Top of nine. Billy Wagner out of the windup with nobody on these days. Billy to Bill. Ryan Church makes the catch. And Nelson Figueroa, what a story. Gets the win. Family happy. It's the Padres and the Dodgers' first of a three-game set. Brad Penny just three and seven. Career against the Padres, top four with two aboard. It's Brian Giles singling to right. Josh Bard scores, and we've got a tied at two ball game. Your next batter, Tadahito Oguchi, steps in. He singles to center. That'll score Jake Peavy, and San Diego's up three to two. Next batter, Adrian Gonzalez. Singles up the middle. Giles scores. Penny six innings, four earned. Padres up four to two. Meantime, PV dialed in. He gets Penny swinging to end the fourth. Bottom six. Jeff Kent steps in. PV gets him six strong, three earned, four Ks. Bottom nine. Bags full. One two count. Trevor Hoffman in to seal the deal against Kent. Hoffman career save number 527. Padres win seven to five. It's time, and you know that you know the Magic could see the Raptors, Cindy, in the first round of playoffs. I think the Raptors could give them some trouble. They better keep practicing hard and doing stuff like this. Rashard Lewis, number 10, top play with a nice follow jam. He had 18 in the Magic loss. Number nine, Davis Cup, USA, France. Andy Roddick battling Michael Lodra. Roddick in the near court. Lodra gets a racket on it before hmm. Roddick eventually puts this thing away. U.S. has a 2-0 lead over France in the quarters. James Blake also victorious. All right, number eight, Senators Penguins, game two, 3-3. Three, three. Power play Penguins, look at Ryan Malone. Whoop, the wraparound goal. Grew up in Pittsburgh. Dad Greg played for the Penguins, also wore number 12. Ryan Malone is a winner. The Penguins win. Tigers and the White Sox, number seven. Carlos Guillen grounded up the middle. Orlando Cabrera diving stop. Hooks up Juan Uribe, who turns two. Tigers beat the White Sox five to two. Number six, one of Kobe Bryant's best dunks of the year. Is right. <laughs> wow. 29 in the game. Lakers beat the Hornets. They clinched the Pacific Division. Number five, Cavaliers and Bulls. Here's Tyrus Thomas. Tyrus Thomas! Thomas slipping his 
way to the floor on the way to the 10. Bulls beat Cleveland for the third time this season. Number four, Bobby Orr, A's, Indians, and Grady Sizemore. Great sound effect on this catch. You must have the microphone right there in the wall there out there in Cleveland. I love that. Oh, I couldn't really hear it there. But it really was very effective during the actual telecast. Mmm, French fries. Great catch, Grady Sizemore. Number three, Marlins Astros. Jorge Cantu facing Roy Oswald. Cantu. How about off the railroad tracks in left field and out of the yard? Totally out of here. Check out where it lands. Love One train. of a franchise Point. record, six home runs for the Marlins. All right, Alex Levatskin is a terrific, terrific player. 4-4 game, late, four and a half, and look at number eight. With the game-winning goal, his first career playoff game is a game-winning goal scenario, and the Caps win 5-4. Number one, we're at the Masters. Round number two, Brent Snedeker on six, chips it on the green, it goes in for the birdie. You decide, does this guy look like Owen Wilson? Arizona these days. The Diamondbacks on a seven-game win spree for Bob Melvin, and this team has all the makings of a team that could be good for a very, very long time. That's Chris Young. Fastball down the left field line. Goes for a ground rule double. Chris Snyder scores. D-backs up 3-0. Great young top of the rotation pitching for this team, including Dan Heron in a spot with runners at first and second. Two out in the third, but he slipped the splitter past Brad Hopp. He had seven strikeouts in six innings. Work allowed just one earned one. Arizona 4-1. Behold, Justin Upton went down and got it. That ball is smoked. 429 feet. He's hitting 415, driven in 10 already. That's eight straight now for the Diamondbacks. Remember how good this team was last year in April? A pair of six-game win streaks. The Diamondbacks eventually won 16 wins, went on to the best record in the National League. Well, so far, they're better in 08. Nine wins overall, now eight in a row, and a better batting average and ERA than last year's NL West champs. Look out, snakes! Mike Mussina battling Josh Beckett. Yankees-Red Sox game two of their three games set at the Fens. Beckett, the only Boston pitcher to win in the team's last eight games against New York. Top one, he strikes out Melky Cabrera. Next batter, Beckett rings up Bobby Abreu. Six and two-thirds, five hits, three and five Ks. Bottom four, Manny Ramirez steps in and crushes the Mussina offering deep and gone. Career jack number 492. It's his 53rd home run against the Yankees. Red Sox up one to nothing. Bottom six with runners on second and third. Joe Girardi leaves Mussina in to face Manny. Not a good move. Double will score two. Red Sox up three to two. Mussina five and two thirds. Four earned one strikeout. His day done. Top eight. Yankees down four to three. Alex Rodriguez due up with runners on first and second and two outs. Jonathan Papelbon coming on to face him. But here comes the rain. 623 Eastern time. The tarp comes out after nearly an hour. The tarp comes off. Papelbon warming up for a second time. Eight minutes later. Here comes more rain. Tarp back onto the field. 827 Eastern. Papelbon warming up for a third time after a two hour and 11 minute rain delay. The 0 2 pitch to A Rod gets him. Red Sox win 4 to 3. Papelbon picks up his fourth save of the season. First and the match, New York putting a three game win streak in Johan Santana's left hand. Santana making his Shea Stadium debut. Top four. Santana has to turn and watch it fly off the bat of Bill Hall. It's a solo shot, his fifth of the year, and we're tied at two. Keep an eye on the location top five. Ricky Weeks, his second home run of the season. Santana gave up an AL high 33 jacks last year. Milwaukee's up three to two, top seven with one aboard. Again, the pitch right down the middle. Gabe Kapler, a two run shot, his third of the season. Brewers up five to two. Santana six and two thirds, four earned seven Ks in those three long balls. Bottom seven, Ben Sheets, tired 14 batters in a row. And he rings up Brian Schneider to make it 15. Next batter, Marlon Anderson goes down swinging. Sheets, seven and two thirds, three earned five Ks. Brewers win five to three. So two years ago in the pitcher friendly Metrodome, Johan Santana went 12 and 0 with an ERA just above two. Last year, however, he slumped at home going just five and nine. It's only been one start, but the move to Shea Stadium hasn't paid dividends as Santana loses his home debut for the Amazons. Padres and the Dodgers, Chris Young versus Derek Lowe for the second time in a week. Young not off to a good start. Bottom one, Rafael for a call. 
His 21st career leadoff shot his first of this season. We're tied at one. Top two, Khalil Green, lacing the low offering to right, but Andre Ethier is there. Gorgeous. Bottom four, it's Ethier at the dish with one aboard. And that is good wood. He takes Young to deep right and on his second of the year. Ethier would finish a triple shy of the cycle. Inning continues. Low helping himself out. Bases loaded. Singles up the middle. That'll score two. Low with three RBI in this one. Dodgers up nine to one in the eighth. It's low getting Tony Clark on the way to his first win of the season. Low retired 20 of his last 21 batters that he faced. Dodgers win 11 to one. Cardinals had all sorts of trouble with Giants starter Matt Cain, who not only took a no hitter into the seventh inning, but he took Todd Wellmeyer out to the yard. That in the sixth, first of the season for him. Giants up 1 0 in the seventh. Cards down 5 3, 2 on. Tyler Walker against Rick and Keel. Well, sometimes you just you got to slug it out. Fourth of the year for him, 10 RBIs in 12 games. Cards tied at five. They took a 7 5 lead. Now 7-6 in the ninth. Jason Isringhausen on, but Fred Lewis grounds it past Albert Pools off his glove. Game tied at seven. First blown save and six chances for Isringhausen. No matter, because in the 10th, Chris Duncan just got enough on it. It falls. Adam Kennedy comes in to score the go-ahead run. The cards come back a couple of times and win 8-7. Tigers, White Sox, Chicago's Glavin Floyd flirting with a no-no in the south side. Top one, Magla Ordonez. Big shot to left. Carlos Quinton is there. Also drove in a run Saturday. Top two, Miguel Cabrera at the dish. Hard ground to third, Joe Creedy. Gorgeous, making up for an OFA three day in support of Floyd. Top four, Floyd. Rings up Cabrera with a nasty breaking ball. Floyd's first strike out of the game. No hits through four. Top eight, Jacques Jones at the dish. No hitter still alive. Floyd gets him swinging. One out in the eighth. Next batter, Edgar Renteria. And Renteria, base hit to right. No, no, no more. Ozzy Guillen thanking Floyd for his effort. Seven and a third scoreless. One hit, four Ks. He's now 2-0 and on the young season. A White Sox win, 7 to nothing. Detroit off to a major league worst 2-9 and nine start. Won't be getting help from Dontrell Willis for a while. The D-train placed on the 15-day DL Saturday with a hyperextended right knee. And two outings this season. Willis with just five innings pitched, nine walks, and zero strikeouts. A's and Indians with Fausto Carmona on the mound for the first time since he and the Tribe reached a lucrative contract extension. If he got paid by the walk, he'd be even richer. That's his fourth of the game against Travis Buck. Then Derek Bar Martin makes him pay. Line drive to left. Jason Michaels can't collect it. Buck and Ellis score. So the walks cost him. It's 2-0. In the fourth inning, he got even wilder. Jack Cust take a walk. Jack Hanahan will follow, as will Kurt Suzuki. And final, Chris Genorfia brings in a run. Carmona walked eight in just three and a third innings work. The A's win 3-1. They have now won seven of their last eight. Meanwhile, Angels and Mariners, that is Ichiro, and Ichiro is prepared to show off his many tools. Howie Kendrick lines one to center field, Ichiro's on the case. Here comes Casey Kotsman rounding third, Ichiro firing, meet. 2 ms hold on to the lead. 3 all for Richie Sexton. You're so not going to catch that. 5-3 ends, they win it 8-3, they racked up. 15 hits against Anna. Cubs and the Phillies. Ryan Howard still looking for his first homer at home. Bottom five with one aboard. Howard taking Ted Lilly for a ride. It's his third home run of the season. And the fighting Phils are up five to nothing. Meantime, Cole Hamels cruising top seven. Hamels gets Aramis Ramirez swinging on the changeup. Next batter, Giovanni Soto. Swig and a miss. Next batter, Mark DeRosa. Popping out weekly two Hamels. Seven scoreless strong, five Ks. Phillies win at seven and one. Phillies now 10 and four against the Cubbies at Citizen Bank. Back to baseball, Braves Nationals. John Lannon and his Washington crew desperate to snap out of their eight game slide. Top one with two aboard, it's Jeff Rancourt. That is obvious rapport between bat and ball. His second home run of the season. Top six with one on, Francourt. 
This time off Jason Bergman. Two jacks, his sixth career multi-homer game, a career-high seven RBI. John Smoltz, bottom six, with run support aplenty, gets Felipe Lopez to ground out to end the inning. Smoltz with his 21st win against the Nationals, his most against any opponent, 10-2, your final. Frank Hoor delivered on Saturday with those two homers and seven RBI. The only other Braves outfielder to do that in the last half century, Brian Jordan back in 2000. And just like Frank Hoor, he played right that day and batted fifth for Atlanta, and the Braves won big both times. The Orioles taking the AL East lead into Tampa, where Evan Longoria made his major league debut. ESPN Scouts Inc. number one prospect, and here is his number one major league hit. First of many, we assume family loves it. He finished one for three with a walk, drove in a run there. 2-1 race, race trail. Carlos Pena deep to right center field. That'll reach the people. His sixth of the year already. It's two all. Ramon Hernandez. Pom pom. Off Dan Wheeler. Hernandez two for four. The homer scored a run. Drove in two. O's win. Three two. <laughs> Top plays. You might flip for these. Number ten. Cubs Phillies. Mark DeRosa high fly ball deep left center field. Shane Victorino back to the wall. Got it. When he got onto the warning track. Phillies win it seven one. Oh happy day. Number nine. NCAA Hockey Championship, Notre Dame, Boston College, BC's Nathan Gerby. Between his legs finds Ben Smith. It's worth another look. Boston College is your new national champion. BC gets the victory 4-1. to one. Number eight, spring football in front of 61,000 at Florida. I don't know if you heard me say this earlier. This Chris Rainey kid ran a 4-2-4-40 before the scrimmage, and then he ran away from his teammates after Tim Tebow hit him with the pass. That's that's unfair kind of speed. Number seven, Orioles Rays. Ramon Hernandez, liner right back to the pitcher, Jason Hamill, who somehow catches it to save his neck. He caught it, and then as he flipped it Great over job. Number six, Maryland and Johns Hopkins, lacrosse. Hopkins midfielder Paul R Rabel runs in from behind the net. He's got a little swim move here. A little spin on top of that and a goal. Hopkins wins 10-4. Number five, the Nike Hoop Summit High School Basketball Exhibition. DeMar DeRozan, the steal, and he uses one hand effectively. He's committed to play at USC next season. Orioles raise at number four again. Luke Scott grounded down the first baseline. Carlos Pena, who has six home runs and apparently brings a glove to work as well. Rays lost the game, however, 3-2. He has six home runs. Mm. Number three, we're on the pitch. English Premier League, Derby County taking on Aston Villa. Derby County goalie Roy Carroll clears it. Still Jan Petrov, the shot from 50 yards out. Fantastic strike. Aston Villa would score a few more, win 6-0. What is better than the NHL playoffs, especially when overtime comes into play? Alex Kovalev, slap shot, beats Tim Thomas over his right shoulder. Montreal leads the series 2-0. They've beaten the Bruins 13 straight times. Number one, third round of the Masters, Robert Allenby. Second shot on the par 4, 10th from 190 yards out. And that is an eagle. Allenby shot it even for the round. He's at 2-over for the tournament, but at least he's number one in top.